King of the Road. It's another edition of the King of the Road Show. I'm Jim King. One of the highlights of our 2009 travels was the Beaumont Boys Bash on Crockett Street. Of course, it has become tradition that the Beaumont Boys Bash kicks off with Songwriters Night at the Dixie Dance Hall. The participating Nashville songwriters last year included Mark Nestler, Casey Bethard, Wynn Varble, David Lee, and Kevin Denny. Ride shotgun with me as we look in the rear view at Songwriters Night at the Dixie Dance Hall in downtown Beaumont. Mark Nestler, man. Hey, welcome back to Beaumont. It's good to be here. It's uh, Buna's best here. <laughs> <laughs> Songwriter uh, Mark Nestler, actually, you're, you're quite an entertainer yourself, too. I've seen you live before, and uh, you, you could have had a career just like uh, Tracy Bird or Mark Chestnut doing that, but you chose to be uh, to concentrate on songwriting, didn't you? Yeah, uh, songwriting was my first love, you know. I mean, I enjoyed performing, but I was fascinated with songwriting from the age of 10. You know, and that's what I wanted to do. Uh, and for many years, I had to go out and play clubs and, and perform to, to pay the bills. But mm -hmm. when the writing started bringing in a decent income, I, I started putting more energy toward that. I uh, met with Billy Currington one day and Tony Martin, and we sat down and we were going to write us a song. But we didn't know what we were going to write about. And then suddenly Tony Martin says, have you ever noticed how it seems the, the one thing that a woman loves about you the most in the beginning is the thing she hates about you later? Of course, Billy and I, we just laugh, you know, it's like, yeah, man, we totally get it. But anyway, I'm going to do you a song that, uh, that we wrote together, Billy, Tony, and I, and uh, it was inspired by that conversation. It's called Why, 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 it goes like this. Nestor, of course, was uh, Nestor was. I was lucky enough to have him play on the road with me for about three and a half years uh, mm -hmm. back in the '90s, and uh, he and I have written a lot of songs together. And uh, he wrote uh, several of my songs. Casey Bethard, who's here, he wrote uh, "Drinking Bone" and Ten Rounds of Jose Cuervo, and uh, uh, so uh, yes, yeah, so we've we've uh, we've uh, had some of these guys' songs uh, on the charts for them. That's the only reason they come down here. <laughs> it's, it's fun, but those guys are songwriters. I mean, right. I'm a singer and I think Zona feels the same way and, and I can get in there and make coffee and I can uh, <laughs> keep keep the coffee warm and, yeah. and, and you know, spit out a line every now and then that may jog them into make it right in the real line. You know, so that's about, that's my, that's my uh, part of the songwriting. We're hard on our own songs and I think the reason we're hard on them is because they suck. So. <laughs>